This is a video just about um, about healthy skepticism versus cynicism. There are those in the Bigfoot community who, uh, for the most part, are healthily skeptical. They have a healthy skepticism. In other words, they don't immediately look at every strange occurrence in the woods or every strange vocalization or even every footprint and say, oh yeah, Sasquatch did that. No, they have a healthy skepticism about it. And they they rule out quite a bit. They rule out quite a bit of um, of um, activity. Uh, they, they tend to look objectively at the evidence. They, they don't sit there and uh, absolutely declare everything is Sasquatch related. And uh, these are these are these are some of the, our better uh, researchers that are out there. But there's a select few. And so it's a very small. Um, it's a very small. You might say community, very very small community of people who, even if they've had a sighting, they 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 become a little bit cynical about it, and they say, "Well, show me proof. We need proof." And, and then they don't look at the evidence that is out there. They say, well, that evidence can be faked. Uh, or these are all just campfire stories until we bring in a body or something like that. That's not the right attitude to have. That's not the correct attitude to have at all. We should look at the evidence, look at the, look at the, the, the body of evidence that is out there. Look! Look at what we've got. You know, I addressed the evidence uh, issue the other day, and I agree. We don't have the proof yet. We have evidence. We've got all kinds of evidence. And, and if you'll refer back to a video I did the other day about the evidence, you'll see that I've discussed some of the aspects of evidence and what we have. No, we don't have the proof. That's true. We don't. We don't have proof. The only proof will be a body or a piece of a body. I know that. But let's look at the totality of the evidence as it re relates to <coughs> the Sasquatch, as it relates to <coughs> excuse me, what we've got. We've got evidence, but we don't have proof. The proof will be forthcoming if we're just patient enough to wait for it and not get into cynicism and be cynical about everything where we fall into the category of uh, not exploring possibilities, not being open-minded enough to realize that there are all kinds of different pieces of evidence out there. Certainly there are misidentifications. Certainly there are things that come up that turn out to be hoaxed or misidentified or wishful thinking or things of that nature. But as uh, John Green wrote in his book, Sasquatch the Apes Among Us, if just one of these reports is the real deal, then you've got something that you can deal with, a species, a species of hominid or ape. Nobody knows exactly what Sasquatch is. There are those who say, well, there are no experts in this, but there are those who are touted as experts in this. That's not a designation of the people that are being touted as experts. The people who are being touted as experts are being touted that by others. They themselves are not saying, I'm an expert. They themselves are not saying that. And there are those who look upon these so-called experts and say, well, you're not an expert on Sasquatch. Well, maybe they're not an expert on Sasquatch, but they are an expert on various aspects of Sasquatch. They are expert at something like anatomy, foot anatomy, uh, bodily anatomy. They're experts at determining a real footprint from a fake one. They're experts at some of the literature, some of the um, folklore of Sasquatch. They're not experts on Sasquatch itself. No one is. 
we know this we all know this but there's people who have different areas of expertise that they are using to try and gain final answers in this mystery Look, I acknowledge that there are no experts I know that everybody knows that but there are those who have expertise in different areas such as the footprints such as hair such as blood such as tissue samples but these people do not go around declaring themselves to be experts point is um, healthy skepticism is perfectly acceptable in the Bigfoot community unhealthy cynicism is not that's just my personal take on that I don't think personal unhealthy cynicism has a place in Bigfoot research that kind of attitude can get somebody killed and that's just how I feel about that thank you